According to this article published in the Journal of Nature back in 2016, farming was invented independently in the Zagros Mountain and in the Levant because these two regions have their own unique ways of farming. For example, the Zagros people began domesticating goats. They were the first ones. Also, the Zagros people cultivated a cereal named emmer, which was absent in the Levant. According to the genetic studies, some Zagros farmers and some Levant farmers migrate towards Anatolia. And this migration happens at around 8000 BC. And there they will share some agricultural technologies and techniques and they will share some genes as well. According to genetic studies, about 80% of the genes of the Anatolian farmers comes from the local hunters and gatherers of Anatolia. The remaining 20% of their genes comes from Levant, Zagros, and partly from Caucasus. And probably the least of the contribution is from Zagros. As Anatolia is getting more and more populated by these farmers, they start expanding to the west. Within the next 1000 years, the farmers have reached Greece, and the earliest farmers from the Middle East arrive in Greece. These Middle Eastern farmers arrive to an area in Greece called Thessaly. And then one of the earliest agrarian societies of Europe is established in Greece. It is called Sesclo. Sometimes in between 6000 BC and 6500 BC, these Greek farmers will make their way toward the Danube River and the Balkans. And they will be migrating further north into the central parts of Europe. At the same time, other farmers in the Levant will be taking a southern route with boats going towards southern parts of Italy, Africa, and Spain. And we don't know the exact migration route that they took, but we do know that they arrive in Italy and Spain sometimes around 6000 BC. Once these farming communities are established in Italy and Spain, they will begin migrating north. And there, sometimes in 5000 BC, they will meet the other groups of farmers who had arrived from the Balkans. This meeting point is somewhere in France or Germany. As we already know, there are hunters and gatherers who already live in Europe. Some of these hunters and gatherers are accepted into the farming communities, but some of them are not and are treated as inferiors. And the result is isolation. So one of these hunters and gatherers called the Eastern Hunter Gatherers, they will migrate towards the Caucasus and there they will meet group of hunters and gatherers in Caucasus called CHG, Caucasus Hunter Gatherers, and they will mate with each other. Within the next few thousand years, several cultures will evolve in this region, and the most important ones is the Yamnaya culture. The Yamnaya culture is probably the birthplace of the Indo-European language family. Back to the Zagros. Some of the Zagros farmers back in 8000 BC will migrate towards India and they will take with them their goat domestication techniques and cereal cultivation technology. So, this is as far as the Middle Eastern agriculture techniques will travel to from the east to India and from the northwest to Europe. Sometimes before 6000 BC, the Chinese come up with their own version of farming, independently of everyone else. 
The main cereal is rice, but they also have livestock such as pigs and chickens. Their technology will be passed on to the neighbors very soon, including India, Southeast Asia, and East Asia. Last but not least, we have the Americas. Sometimes before or after 5000 BC, somewhere in Mexico, people are cultivating corn, and that is the main cereal. Within the next millennia, the North Native Americans and the South Native Americans will have their own versions of farming. 